Meet Jason. He is part of a growing number of HIV negative gay men who are choosing to have unprotected sex. I have had sex with people without using a condom and some of them have been HIV positive and some of them are HIV negative. Uh, because I've been on PrEP, that's increased my confidence with the partners from either status. Last year, four of London's leading sexual health clinics saw the greatest reduction in new HIV diagnoses they've seen since the beginning of the epidemic in the 1980s. Experts are advising it may be due to this drug. PrEP is widely taken in other countries as treatment against the spread of HIV, but some experts have big concerns. Um, there are a lot of questions yet to be answered, but there are many groups, I think, who are at equal and perhaps even greater risk of HIV, who perhaps don't know about PrEP, um, don't feel comfortable about it, don't have all of the information. Critics of the drug say it's expensive and not foolproof. However, despite this, the NHS lost a court case, meaning it will have to fund it in future, a move supported by some clinics. PrEP is a very effective prevention strategy. I wouldn't say it's a wonder drug because nothing in isolation is the answer when it comes to preventing HIV transmission. PrEP has given us a really effective additional tool to combine with the other tools we had but which were not working. Until it becomes available on the NHS, men like Jason are resorting to the web for their medication. About 25 to 35,000 Londoners have visited our site in the last 12 months. What we've done in effect is created a community healthcare system that's sitting outside of our national healthcare system. Jason gets tested regularly, but these days he doesn't worry about the results. I had an HIV test yesterday and the results came through in the evening of the same day because test results are now pretty quick. Again, it's HIV negative and I knew that it would be because I've been on PrEP for two years now. And although I've had a lot of sexual encounters with different levels of risk, I'm now confident I'm going to stay HIV negative. He says, by providing this drug on the NHS in the future, others too will benefit from the same peace of mind. Ben Hunt, BBC London News.